Welcome to Keep Snacking Audibles. Ooh, I like the way you sang that. <laughs> All right, so we're doing at-home audibles. Um, if you saw last week's episode, we or two weeks ago's episode, we last did, week's episode was it last week's? Yes, we did audibles from home. So we did, we, we like this trend. What do we got in our house? Let's talk about it. Like, yeah, random things, right? So my random thing we did post on Instagram. Um, I have a very sweet friend of mine that sent me a box called Universal Yums. For my birthday, uh, Carly and her sweet daughter, Amelia, will have been paying attention to my curricular activities with the podcast. And when I had- Extracurricular. Yeah. Oh, extracurricular. Yes. <laughs> Although I wish it was just my curricular. curricular. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that out in the universe. Make this my job. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, it was a huge box. So first of all, Universal Yums, hook some sisters up. This week's or this month's box is Italy. You can kind of half see what I got going on here. It's a beautiful box. We've tagged so it on Instagram. I, I have a question. Is it um they rotate the monthly box or you're choosing the country that you want to I box believe from? they rotate the monthly box. Okay. So I was it just so happened that I get Italy, which you know is gonna be a million it's things perfect. that I love. Perfect. It was For like you. perfect timing. Yes. So there's a ton of stuff in here. You get a book with like everything that is in the, in the box, box too and explains it. So like a snack directory. Yes. It also gives you the nutritional facts. Nice. It also gives you a scorecard so you can fill out the scorecard. That's I'm so obviously cute. not doing the whole bell and whistle because this is an audible. But again, Universal Yums, hook some sisters up. We will eat your boxes. We will talk about your boxes. We will push promo codes for your boxes. We are going to buy your box first. One of my friends already bought one of your boxes. And then you better hook us up because we will do this. This is like perfection for what we do. The first one I'm going to try because I've never actually tried this. I Maybe I've had it at a restaurant before, like with my meal, but never out of like a bag. Again, all of these authentically come from Italy. I'm doing... Truffle, truffle potato chips. These are from a company that called Amica. So good. I know Amica chips. They're Alfredo's potato chips, naturally and artificially flavored. Um, they legit come from Italy, made in Italy. And I'm about to go in. I'm super excited. They look delicious. The nose. I'm excited for the nose. It should hit you right immediately. Oh yes, it's like buttery and truffly and smells like a truffle fry yeah it smells like a good truffle fry mm. all right it's beautiful too oh it looks like nice and crispy it looks yes. like a rag potato chip like a lays but like with more depth it looks better it has than more a lays. depth it looks like actually like something you get at a restaurant it looks a little um more, yeah yeah you know yeah. what i mean it, it looks, it looks like a little higher quality all okay, right she is crunching and i will say while lauren is eating that I have had truffle potato chips from Trader Joe's, which I actually really enjoy. If I could probably eat a bag pretty easily. Um, thing about truffle anything is um, if you buy truffle oil, it's actually kind of a scam because they just put like truffle flavoring. They're not, you, like, you can't really make truffle oil um, with actual truffles where like they're infusing anything. So it's interesting to see how these potato chip companies infuse so much flavor in these potato chips so it's how, delicious what did, what did you think like it's was it very real truffle flavor yes and it's very rich i feel like italy would get that right you know it's very very rich um it is made uh with sunflower oil okay from the oil perspective um but it contains potato sunflower oil salt corn starch ch chicory root and natural and artificial flavors it's delicious. Does it's it have and does it have a slight sweetness like to the aftertaste of it? Because chicory root is like an interesting additive to it because that kind of adds a a, a weird sweetness sometimes. No, to me it doesn't. To me, it literally tastes like if you were getting a homemade potato chip. That's a truffle fry, like a truffle fried chip at yeah. a restaurant. Mm -hmm. 
It's like spot on what you would get on your plate. That's perfect. It's crispy. It's light, but it's rich. Like, I don't even know, like eating this whole bag would be a lot. And this is just a mini bag. Right. But it's, it's, they're delicious. And they all look like just as beautiful. Yeah. It's not like crummy. Mm -mm. It's, um. It's a good time. Party okay. in a bag. Wow. Highly, highly recommend. I, and honestly, so far, we've been eating a lot of stuff from this box. And there has been not one thing that anyone's been like, ew, about. They had these bruschetta trips that are like almost gone that literally taste like bruschetta. Like, wow. I don't know. They were yummy. I love bruschetta. I know. I or almost the want Italians to- would say bruschetta. bruschetta. Okay, so my at home is something that I had mentioned to Lauren before. Um, they are Tate's Bake Shop cookies, and oh. um, they're actually made in um, the Northeast because they're made in Sa- Southampton. That's where they started. Um, and I can just read the box really quickly. It started when 11 year old Kathleen King began baking bakies, bake, bake and bake began baking cookies to sell at her parents' farm stand. So, you know, like you picture the Hamptons, there's all these like farm stands. That's very cute. Her love of baking and dedication to quality soon made her crispy, buttery cookies legendary in Southampton. Um, Blah, blah, blah. Who cares about the rest? But basically, this is kind of like an East Coast, uh, Northeast Coast favorite. And um, I can get them at any grocery store. Lauren did mention that she hasn't seen these in the South, correct? Yeah, you can't buy these in the South. I mean, you you can order them, but you can't buy them in a grocery store. Right, and you can order these online. I've actually worked with the Tate's um, the Tate's company as like corporate gifts that I've had to do over quarantine, and they're actually super helpful. Um, but the interesting thing about this cookie, if I can get it out, I don't want to crumble it is that it is, it's a very thin cookie and, um, it's crumbly. So it's not like, um, it's not like a Chips Ahoy or definitely not a soft Chips Ahoy. It felt, it feels very like homemade and it's distinct. I don't think any other company does like such a distinctly thin cookie. I think it's very, um, it's very Tate's like Tate's is known for this and I'm just doing the chocolate chip. Uh, they have different flavors. There's like a cranberry white chocolate one. Like they do seasonal things. Um, they do like a snickerdoodle, right? Uh, I think they might. I feel like that's the only ones I've ever had and they were delicious. They're a little, they're a little more like, um, they're a little firmer. Mm-hmm. They're not like a Chips Ahoy crumbly. They're like a firm, like when you bite it in, it's a crunch, but a firm, soft baked crunch. Is that a fair? Well, it's not soft baked really at all. It's pretty crispy. But a home- I mean, sorry, a homemade baked crunch is what it is. Yes, say. it's very <laughs> homemade, crispy. It's thin. It's just, it's nice. It, they're good quality. I don't, I haven't met anyone who wouldn't who doesn't like a tates if they've tried it so love that's my at home and that's nice to know that they'll do like gifts because right now we're sending a lot of people gifts yeah it's a, it might be a good holiday idea yeah so the last thing we're gonna do is go back to we're pushing this yum bat the yum um universal yums universal yums and they have this thing called the yum bag and it's a wild card that you get so i don't know what's gonna be in it this is very exciting so we're opening it it's and like an unbagging. Oh my gosh, it has like several different items in it. It has these things called cell soda, which look like warheads. Like they're like a warhead. Oh yeah, it does look like a warhead. But I bet it's like a soda flavor. Yes. And then this other thing called Choco Boom. Um, so this is like a it's just like a bunch of different candies. Is it are they all this like is hard candy? Tiramisu. No, I just squeezed that. That's <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Choco Boom. Let's okay. add this. The cell soda was hard. These feel softer. So it's it, like a round chocolate. It looks ball. like it's a truffle ball. And I will bite it. So we can yeah. So let's out. see what the center is. Oh, it was a little crunch with your bite. I heard yeah. it. I don't, I don't know what's in there. There's something crunchy in it. Like oh, it's a- white and there's like, it looks like raspberry seeds are in it. I think that's what it is. And it's weird. It's like pop rocking in my mouth. Well, it is a, called a Choco Bum. Is that what it was called? What's the name of it? Choco. <laughs> a Choco know. Boom, but it's like. <laughs> so there's like 
pop rocks in there. Pop rocking in my mouth. That whatever this raspberry stuff is, is straight up like a pop rock. And it's weird in my ears with the headphones. <laughs> well, I feel like I can hear it in from your mouth. You hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. It's so bizarre. Do you like it? I love it. It's actually really good. It's just weird. It's just so interesting because when I think of a pop rock, I think of like more of a fruity candy. Like I don't expect that with a chocolatey candy. So I don't know if I would like that. It was a fun surprise. I'll just okay. say that. It didn't well, taste bad. It was good. I think so. It was a fun surprise because you weren't expecting it. Would you go forward and buy these? N no, and not, not unless it's to trick people. <laughs> right. So you would just do this for trick rate. Okay. So it's like it would a taste Halloween good treat. though. I just wouldn't like have pop rock <laughs> sensation all the time in my mouth. Right. It's a very weird thing. Okay, cool. Awesome. I think that's it. So universal yums, we love you. Tate's, we love you. We'll eat whatever you want from Tate's too. Yeah, Tate's send us some stuff yes. from Southampton. And make sure you keep, keep snacking. snacking.